is five minutes past twelve. Anyway, we'll come through daily for, I think this is 428. <clears throat> I don't think anything's going on this. Just check these videos on. Anyway, I've got to turn that one off. Yesterday's was a hot bit of a long one, 36 minutes. Don't know why this one's going to go live wise, but yeah. So I will work today as I was yesterday. Today I'm gonna to be showing my display did a few things here and there. Or oh, that's the point anyway. Yesterday I actually if you guys have been watching the videos, you will not to keep my many fixtures in here, which is no longer the case. So for a few random things which I will show for at some point. Watch me say that I not touch for like five months. And I end up Putting all the way through this back here, I will stop sorting off here. Let me guys see a few pieces. These ones will go on a shelf since it's the special 20th anniversary ones. And you know what? I'll even come put that in, the, in the, like, a few weeks. By the way, on Obi Wan. And of course, here we'll go. This is a quarter of my figures, and I was sort of sorting it there. Oh, there's some sticky notes in there. See, I have different ones. Coming through the drawers, so we've got. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, which has got a lot of filming this year. So it's not all of the Clone Wars, which has always been one that's been filled up. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Episode 4 in the hook. Episode 5 then parachutes back. No episode 6 was from the Jedi. And this one's a bit more random, it's just like one that don't fit in the other ones. Most of the Disney shows I'm a bit like a non canon stuff, I'm like over pop. This one's a bit of a mix of things, but technically non canon, you know what I would consider Malcolm's canon. Then we also got the other sequels. It's got Mumble Bee Non Star Wars, which is basically like everything in this bag, so that one's kind of like, you know, more than simple to deal with. But yeah, I've spent the morning babysitting, as well I have been doing the last few days. And yeah. It's probably about a 10 minute intro. I don't know how far or what we're going to go with this, but yeah. Today I get through to one of those days where I'm going to pull every single thing off my shelves. Every single thing. For the pub, apart from the Death Star. For the purpose of while well, redoing the shelves, some of it will stay the same, but some of it will change because these drawers, you may recall, were in fact down here. I did that to open up some shelving space because uh, the top of this was not being used as a shelf, it was actually having junk thrown on it, which is just not ideal. So that's crazy. A, lot of these, a couple of these drawers have been filmed quite a bit since the last. Go back about a month and a half ago, probably. It was all that maybe. I would say two months ago. Now it was the last time I had this sort of system for many figures. Episode 1 has grown a bit. Episode 2 is like, definitely grown. And I'll uh, add a couple of things in episode 3 as well. So it's like these things are getting bigger. Which is quite cool for me. Because those are movies I didn't have a lot of previously. I have some things coming in the mail. So I have a 2012 um, Imperial Scout Trooper. Which will be great in my Return of the Jedi because I don't have any of those um, Scout Troopers. I also have an AT-80 driver from 2010, which will go in the half um, but so there's not some all, all good many figures I've managed to get my hands on. Um, quite happy with that. 
Um, I've also made an offer, I don't say which one, which it is, I'm getting, which will be the last big one I buy for a very long while. Because I'm putting money for other things, just, you know, more life than just a Lego. Um, the 2012 Gungan, so I'm getting it for one, 168 so I made an offer, quite cheaper. £8 of that is postage. And that'll add a lot more figures to the next one, one like, you know, so I've completed the cast of all these movies. That's quite good. But anyway, let's get into something that I should have done probably a few minutes ago. Making this a bed. Alright, bed's partially made. Let's leave it at this point. I can't stand up like this one. Oh, what's that? It's pretty much sorted. So, very small chance, but we have David up today, or might not, it just depends. I again, like I said, off work. Bloody brilliant. I'm not back in work for a bit. I was going to sit down with these mini figures and continue the soaring and repairing, so which, you know. Fortunately, all those battle droids there, their legs have snapped or very well loosened, so I get paid tomorrow, so I think it'll be all. It's only going to cost me like £2, so I'm quitting for some new battle droid legs, I think. So, yeah, the robot won't. Again, <laughs> Again, this is just a solution while I have a, you know, see if I had more shelf space. In an ideal world, I would be splitting every mini figure out with sets, right? But it would crowd this up really quickly, because I don't like to leave figures in the cockpits of sets and all that. I don't know what about this, but I'm having some fun with this new space. I've managed to gain down there. But yeah. And if I shorten this mini figure before I start moving them. First one I'll be doing is this, is it what is the easiest one to do of all this and so I'll just pull the whole thing right in. I was like, I was meant to take. Oh well, put that one. Well, sort of all these guys. I'll update you guys at some point. I start the shelving. Two months now. Alright, so it's 20 past 2. My dad goes to get my stepmom, which could probably do the dishes, but other than that, it's starving because I'm like, hell, I'm gonna try and put that thing down. And also, I keep ports on those shelves. I keep them on those shelves, but those boxes, the 2012 boxes, are going back in the cupboard. But so surely, guys, take a picture. So, I know I've already done this a lot of while ago, so I still need to go for this. But now that I've opened up that box space, which was previously occupied by all of this. Do we do it again? There's this set uh, here. The Viper Pro Droid and the custom tie set from Turn of the Jedi over here because they're not the kind of ones you want to put on the bed. You know, they'd be structurally compromised. But I think what would be interesting is to show us all of all of this, all of the most part will get spread out on these shelves. Some shells will go back the way they were, I said, some of them for cleaning. But, you know, I 
I thought would be kind of interesting. See, basically I've got this um, thing on from Solarbook Studios. So I am 4 minutes and 36 seconds into a 21 minute video. So I'm debating just giving updates here and there. But this will not be like a 20 minute long. So, uh, let's get started. So, a start's been attempted. See, I don't know if I want the Imperial stuff from here going along like here, like the whole thing Imperial. Oh, I can't walk on the Imperial stuff, but it's like, I thought I'd be able to go along there. Yeah, it's kind of cool that there, but it's like, I don't have the Empire stuff here. That, I'm debating if I want to keep it there. I'm not too sure. Again, they were taking it off for cleaning, and I'm just trying to get an idea. I have a book at this torch that the Mandalorian shot fire from last year is on this bottom shelf, so it's not too bad looking. So, I know what I thought I'd update and show that I've made a start, so yeah, let's continue. We are not half getting through that video, so. but here's what I've got so far. I just have to figure out this walker as well as other clone trooper stuff. But here's what we've got. So, bottom here, we've got the Mandalorian Star Fighter from 2021 and the 2016 TIE Striker. We've got the home one has been placed over here. Looks alright there. Jamba's Palace, of course, has to go on this shelf you know, because of the height of that tower. So I, I can only fit my hand between the top of the tower and the top of the shelf, so you can kind of get the size perspective. Here, I thought it'd be fun to have all, the, all my JI Star Fighters at once. Previously, as you may have seen, the walkers were included in this. Not doing that again up here, it's more or less remained the same, apart from like some slight tweaks, but this was a good look for a Republic shelf. Now in the future I'd like to do it differently, so I was going to wear this one to fit the ATTE. That would compromise to put the palace there, and I might put in the palace there. Let's look at like the gunship and all the star fighters up here, and all the ATTE, and all the walkers and command stations. But here was a bit of an idea I had that is unfortunately not usable. I took that tight. Um, intercept it down, put it over there, so you know, we're making progress, we're getting there with it. I don't think I'm going to be leaving the house today. I think this will be a quiet day and sorting out the way I go and probably quote Hoover my room around, you know. Who knows, we might continue on with this, you know, sorting out things and I don't know, feel like we can step, take it a few steps further. So, uh, again, that one will be tattooing. But the way I'm doing this, I might not make that one tattoo. I might continue with my idea of making this my kind of 2012 shelf. Without the minifigures, obviously. Because they're all spot up in the, you know, the individual bins that they go in. But I like showing these off. Oh yeah, I forgot, I finished up bringing up, I did finish all my figures, here's the most random one, we've got things like Indiana Jones, we've got a Kai mini figure right here, and it's kind of cool. It's not like boxes away actually, but yeah, I have been thinking all me doing this, like, the shelf here and there need to be figured out, obviously, you know, I may try to include the half stuff next to the home one, I don't know, maybe, eh. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is look at the camera and move all this clone trooper stuff up here. I will be bagging up all these little stands. If you remember what I was messing out with those yesterday, you'll completely get what I mean. Let's move all that clone stuff up on here. Alright, so up here, a place there's my clone army stuff. Got some cool sets here. You've got the 2020 ATRT Walker from the Clone Super Battle, Final Battle Pack. You've got these really nice speeders from 2011, which are real nostalgic pieces. They've got a couple of these 2022, you know, Clone Command stations as well as the they all just set up here is the 2009 Clone Walker Battle Pack Walker. So, yeah, we're going to continue. I'm trying to figure out things like Hoth. The set press, I don't know what I'll do with those. I was keeping them up there, but I felt kind of a shame putting them up there. Um, then, of course, we've got the big monster itself. The 2008 Death Star all the way up there, so we ain't going to be adjusting that. That'll be my favourite part about when I get my own places. I will actually not display that a bit better. I don't think if you want to see my Jedi personally, yes, I had never seen one in person when I bought that, and I honestly, I'm not joking, honestly thought I could fit it in one of these cubes. How wrong was I? <sighs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep going again. The updates for the shelving will continue 
Do you know what? I will continue as long as this video is on, so I'm going to press play in between updates, and when that video is done, I'll probably cut the camera completely until... Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'll, I'll figure it out. Let's get back to work. Alright then, so, wow, did I forget one corner of my thing that, to put up here? I just actually found it. It's like, and this one is a bit special to me, right? It's from last year. It was one of the magazine builds, you know, it's a cone turbo tank. Pretty cool. I got that the same day I actually got hired at b &M, so, I don't know. Not that I'm saying I love b &M, it's like, my first proper job, so it is kind of special. Tatooine's filling up, I did say I was probably using this primarily as my 2012 stuff shelf, but... That'll happen when the Gungan sub arrives. Um, I will do some switching, but I do plan to open up a couple of these. Um, again, I'm just going to go through the room today and just organise it. So I don't plan to go out, I'm not working, so taking advantage of that. Um, again, trying to figure out what else will go down there. So yeah, I'm going to be working on that. And then of course, nothing is on these two. So, yeah, here's everything we've got left. We've still got this droid here. So that was all, and this is so... Yeah. Getting more That's almost done. But that's irrelevant. Um, I've come back, I've not made any progress. I've actually decided that I'm going to move this and shove it down here. Throw these over there. I'm going to remove all the Imperial stuff from the equation, because that's obviously going to go up there. I would rather wait till I, you know, stand properly on my bed to do those parts, so... Yeah, we're gonna wait. Let's separate. Alright, I've put that up there. Couple spreads right there, you know. I think that's all my Imperial stuff. I, again, striker down there. There's extra than Death Stars there, so it's not including those. But, I mean, you could technically call this hallway since it's... Always from an Imperial light cruiser, so put that there. Um, yeah, so the time it's 12 to 3 at 3 o'clock. I'm actually gonna go do those dishes because I'm like, I'm probably gonna get heavily bitched out if I don't, so yeah. Um, that'll be one this initial clip ends, and then after that, you'll see the whole complete done channel, even if that's not for a few hours. You know, let's try to take advantage of my time here. Right, let's keep at it. Alright, you can see I put the Hoff doors back up there, really cool set. I'm gonna quickly throw the Hoff stuff up there and sort out later on. It's mostly like this main shelf in here, because that's where like the Imperial and public stuff's been kind of thrown there, because those are like things I typically will group together, so. Yeah, these shelves are looking a lot cleaner out of I'm happy that opened up that space again. I guess we'll have to be careful in that area, but again, the Gungan sub will be the last big set up high for a while. Like, I mean, like, probably six months. So, let's throw the Hoff stuff up there. And then it all gets sorted out later. And if there's it, get all of your Hoff stuff up there. Again, of course, it's disorganized, can only keep up. Oh, let's just call it organized mess, that's the best way to put it. So we'll have to all the stuff things like the X Wing go in there of all your rebels. Like some of these shelves will stay the same as they were. Like you can tell I must like a shelf if it continues to work the same way. By the way, that counts as an imperial thing. I'm just not got the space for it over here right now. Okay, it feels weird having these back, but you know what? It works so much better. Alright. I'm gonna go through some of these sets. I will update you soon. It is eight minutes till three, so I might just leave it till three and then they can update showing you where the hell I got through. So I'm not just going to do that. I'm just going to straighten this out. I'm about to click over to three and I'm quite happy with how cleared up this as well. I'm going to click show you what I'm actually really happy with it as well. So, again, half it sorted all of what you see here. That requires a bit of sorting and going through. So I'm going to show you the shelf. This one's a bit randomised again. See, during the six months that I'm not buying any Lego, well, I'm not buying any, I'm not allowed to go for 50 quid a month, right? For six months, starting September. So I'm not allowed to buy any big sets again until March, which is my birthday. 
and I've always put mostly buying small sets, kind of like these size, so it'd be kind of great just to have them all here. I mean, again, these are the four. I'm not getting them, we'll put in them, but we might, but I'm going to need to sort through them regardless. So it's bottom shelf here, we have the Starfighter, yeah, Ultron Speeder 2010, we've got the Tide Strike Cover, we've got the Planet, I did, did decide to actually put those two small 24 boxes in the bottom of this way along. Now I'll say it's got separate this. Got the Rebels, got kind of Tatooine with the Slave 1, which this could be changing very soon. So yeah, Starfighters and of course the Republic, I need to continue sorting out them. But yeah, I don't know, I'm off basically to go with this year, it's a big hand extender. Oh, my phone can't charge. No, this is all kind of annoying, really good so far. And it's not just this, it's the whole room. I did, by the way, plank this on top. I know I'm sorting it. Come this time next week. I'll have the gun gun sub added to it. But that shouldn't really be too much of a problem. So, I'll see you guys. Uh, well, I'm going to come back. I'm going to finish the shelves off. I won't be recording that. Because once the shelves are done, I'm going to sit for like 10 minutes. Then jump back home with the recording as we go around the rest of my room clearing up and sort of things that will not be nearly as long as this drawing clip. See that? I'm back out the last time from both these windows out so wide, but yeah. So I didn't bother updating you from me coming back. Um I basically finished up the shelving after my dishes because all my family, right? My brother's not well, I say all of them, like my brother and my sister and my dad brought her side, so I'm just gonna go join them and just do this later. But they came right back in as I was getting ready to go out. So I've done up, got the kind of whole clone trooper thing going, got the visual dictionary up there. Just, for, just all my spare clone stuff. I did put the ATTE box away in the cupboard because I thought my logic behind this decision is it's been reviewed. I'm not going to need it. But I'm not doing it today, but I think at some point, my next day off is Sunday, so I might do it then. Is I might go in this cupboard here. And go like, I don't need the Speed Champions box, I've sold the damn Speed Champions, you know what I mean? Like, there's a few sets, boxes in here, and just things in general, that one's wrong. Like, this vehicle, I built this back in February out of complete boredom. You know, it's got a whole interior and stuff, and it's a bit wrecked, it's not destroyed, like, it is salvageable, but it's like, a part of me would maybe rather break it up. But yeah, I've not over or anything, so I'll go break right there, just get pretty there, but you know, as you can see, I've been making an effort to clean it up, and, you know, Sort of things back when you need to go. So yeah, you can see that I'm definitely been busy. It's a really nice day outside. My dad's gonna get my step. My mind bit wrong right because I didn't answer my phone like six times. Like I get that is a bit of a stretch. But at the exact same time, I would like to point the fuck out that when I go to sleep, I put my phone on silent. Right, which might be dangerous because I get a phone call in the middle of the night, just so I don't get woken up by the a million notifications from fucking Instagram and all that shit. Right. And that's why I didn't hear it, and he went, he was not pleased, let's just say that. Like, he was, like, proper angry. Although, I think he's calmed down about it. But, like, I, I know I consistently do not answer my phone at times. He, he thinks it's only towards him, but it's like... Here's the thing, I kind of like answering the phone to you partially as well, because it's, it's never just, like, it's always because there's something needing done that you answer the phone. But, like, if I don't answer my phone after a couple of calls, it's bad, but if I text you, I have to about something, I can stand away wait a few fucking days sometimes, so, yeah. Anyway, all this stuff, I pretty much don't understand where it goes. Um, tell you one thing though, oh, this has been my recent box store system, I don't know if this is permanent or not, or if they'll just get moved in here, um, I could not tell you. But, yeah, let's, I'm gonna get the hoover out, get a little nozzles and everything, like, I'm gonna get, go around the proper go of this. You know, I'll feel, I'll feel like I've achieved something today. <laughs> I'm not going out anywhere, no one's coming over, the way things are looking. Um, David's away out doing things. Cody, unfortunately, the thing is, right, Cody trying to get him to go anywhere on fucking short notice. He does do it, right? I know he might be watching this. Like, you do do it, mate, but my one problem is, it's like... Try to get you come all the way down here on short notice, right? You typically don't like walking down here, as for, from what I get. <laughs> Yeah, right, let's get that hoover. You're right, and my TV is saying no signal at disconnect. I accidentally was cleaning, but you know, mistakenly disconnected the skybox. So, try to remember where the remote up there is, it's up here. 
still not bagged that there's plates. So I'll quickly show you all the other things I did to my display. So the bottom half I really do like. Right. Or did I show this? See, how wait, no, wait, wait. I've showed this, I've shown those two, right? I believe I was able to do those two in the time. But I've not shown the Imperial as far as my wear. Or the Hoff. So I think I've shown everything. I do like this bottom, but I like how I'm able to incorporate the two 2012 box. Again, I do have the box for my Jabba's Palace. It's just big. Right, I'll quickly show you that. That thing is not small. Well, it's not a giant box, but it's not a small box either. Here it is on the bottom. 9516 yards per it's got all the minifigures. I like that bit there with kind of classic -ish kind of boxes. We are also going to be hoovering inside here, but yeah, it's not horrible looking. Like, you can tell it needs it, but it's not as bad as it has been sometimes when it's been using it. I'm just going to quickly pull all this stuff up. Alright, that's that part of the pulled up. This will not be another 10 minute segment. To feel this vlog will be, I think, so like, These little pieces of found here will probably go in my spare parts cup because I do plan to make a video on my main channel. Like, what can I build but only using these spare and small parts that I've found in my room or just might be special. Like, I'll have a better title for that. The Hoover's plugged in, kind of, you know, down in the hole, so. Alright, get ready to see a nice looking floor. Oh. It's quite an obvious improvement. There's the odd imperfection, which isn't due to like lack of trying to hoover correctly. It's this room was my brother's just younger kid's room. It's the carpet is a bit worn in here. Like not horribly worn, but it's like you can see in certain places it's just not perfect anymore. But yeah. This just feels like most productively in a long while. And do you know what I think like tonight maybe a chill out night with some video games. You know, even slightly tend to journey over to Tesco for some snacks. Simply some Xbox later. I don't know, think about it. Um, but besides the point, before we can think about doing anything like that, we do have all of these dish... I'm just to call them dish... for fuck's sake. Items, like, some of these are quite simple, like this case. Okay, you can just sort right down in there. As can this, which I have... I need to do something or something else with that. I actually built that myself for those of you who don't know. It was built by me in what woodwork class like four years ago. Right, the shoes go along down the bottom of the radiator. It's like some of this is so like it's gonna be temporary. Like, so simple. That goes here, and the plug socket goes along there with my, it's my foam wire. I'll look at the camera, and I'm going to quickly try and get through all this stuff. So, not far off this. Indeed, that is my family home. So, I'll see you guys in a few hours probably, but when you do, the room will be completely sparkling. This is a start. So I like to off David, and I've realised since I get paid at midnight, I've got about 10 on the bank account, but I've got 16 back in full 10. I might buy my first Lego SpongeBob mini fit, and I think I want a Patrick or a Squidward. I'm sorry, they say there's always that one Squidward in the workplace. I think I know who mine is. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to throw on a t shirt. Get these vans sorted out. Oh my god, I mentioned a media silver one. Or did I not? I don't know, I'm very stupid. Shoes are locked. And I don't think I'll need it, but I'll just take it anyway. Oh, he's trying to form this, so I should probably leave. Alright, we're on the go slowly. Nice this time. I've got all that. So yeah, I can spend what I've got on me because I'm going to get paid at midnight. And that's nearly 600 buckaroos as well. So for 160, basically I'm getting that gun gun stuff. 
um, which again gets me one of the rarer cycles for what's many figures that I've been after. But still, I don't have any of the characters in that set. I, I have Jar Jar and Qui Gon, but I have the 99 versions. That Jar Jar is 2011, because he's in the set. I set the new one. Anyway, attention, though, that Scout Trooper, I've got an AT-80 driver coming, so I'm going to order myself a I don't know, see what it is. Here's what I'm going to buy a figure from another few. I do, there's a bunch of ones that I want to buy, but it's without my budget, so it's like, I'll we'll just grab it next year, or you know, like, it's like called Good Neighbors at Bikini Bob, I think it's like all three of their houses. But anyway, I'm off. So I'm back, it's basically 21 minutes past midnight, right, so let's actually start again, start it down. But yes. Went in Friday, or as I like to call it, payday! Yay! The last four weeks, my only for no more. I don't want to. Anyway, let's get, let's get ready. Should be getting pay wise, right? Between 590 and 600 quid. Keep in mind, see if in the last month all the extra hours I've been doing should have really added up big time. Right. I am an incredibly. I could be going around when I was doing 23 hours a week. So, to some people ask, pfft, why? But, even though I'm going to do 16, that extra 7 added on, like, however, 4 times 7 is 28, uh, an extra 28 hours more than I normally do a month. So that's an extra 28 hours worth of pay being added, so, yeah. Quickly to change out these pajamas. Ah, uh, here we go. So, me and David hung out for viewers, got some snacks, hung out in the woods for a bit, let's chill now. Then, we all just came back here. I'm going to show myself a chocolate McDonald's. Yeah. It's late. I think it's back, like, like, you know, quarter to eleven. So, I'm going to get back to you guys. I'll try to be one sec, I'm gonna go get myself a try to do that now. Take a lot of weight on that. It's pretty slick. I don't think I've got much too sweet to drink it. So two of my friends recommending this show right here. Lucifer, so I'm on season 1, episode 2. Lucifer, stay. Good devil. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this series. It's been recommended by so many people. I'm like, do you know what? This is fairly enjoyable. So, the last update of the vlog will be between now and 1 o'clock. I'm just going to keep checking and checking. See if my um, payment is out of my bank. So, yeah. Can't wait. See you guys in the last update, which will be hopefully very soon. So it's actually just about to click over at 1 o'clock. In fact, yeah. Well, I'm in a good mood. PM just paid me 602 
buckaroos. That's £602 plus my current bank balance. That brings me up to about 617 quid. So, I am in no way complaining. Oh, God. Like, yeah, I don't drink anything before I go to bed. My throat is really so dry. Yeah, to all the bang of the gun can sub it. And you know what, since it's 600, since it's like the last big payment I'm getting for a while, I might have to spend an extra ferry on top, so I might buy myself that. I think if I'm paying like 168 the gun can sub, I might throw my like Endor Rebel Battle back from the 2012 way or something insane, you know. Or maybe a planet set, or I don't know, something cool. Let me go get a drink, I'll be right back. Got a whole pack of clear juice. But yeah, so if I spend 200 odd quid, that leaves us to like 417. So yeah, my I would just want myself an additional mini figure or two, but yeah. If one of the last big haul I get probably till like March or April because like I said, they will put some money away for other things. So I'm gonna join you for a bit. I'm gonna finish this episode always I've got twenty five minutes left. And I'm gonna go to sleep, so see ya.